Hey guys, what's going on? Here to tell you a little bit about one of my most favorite veggie burgers. They are Morningstar Farms Veggie Burgers Chipotle Black Bean. The way that I heard about these is I would go to Chili's, like the Chili's chain restaurant, and I would order the salad. It's a quesadilla salad. Normally it comes with chicken, but I don't eat chicken. So I asked if you guys, like I was like, oh, you guys have a veggie burger you can put on the salad instead of chicken. That would be great. And they're like, yeah, we have the black bean burger. So ever since then, every time I go there, I always order the salad with the black bean burger on top. And luckily, I asked them and they were able to tell me that it's the Morningstar Farm Burger. And ever since then, I've been hooked on it. It's delicious. And it's less fat than a regular burger would be. I'm also vegetarian, so that's why I prefer this over chicken or anything else. So this is America's number one veggie burger brand. This is a quarter pound size. I think you could get them in just the regular size. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it comes in a four pack in like a little Ziploc baggie. So this was the bigger one. This has 12 veggie burgers. Net wheat is 50.8 ounces or three pounds, 2.8 ounces, 1.44 kilograms. Keep frozen and cook thoroughly. 73% less fat than ground beef, 17 grams of protein, and 8 grams of fiber. Contains 7 grams total fat per serve. See nutrition information for sodium content, and it is kosher. Here it says 190 calories, 1 gram of saturated fat, 5% 5, 5 daily value, 540 milligrams sodium, 23% daily value, and 2 grams of sugars per one burger. This is the back. It says... Kellogg's Family Rewards, Collect Points, Earn Rewards, Two Easy Ways to Collect Points. Um, and there is the barcode on the back. And this is the cooking instructions. So keep frozen until ready to use for food safety and quality. Heat to a minimum internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. In the skillet, which is the recommended method, preheat nonstick skillet over medium heat. Lightly spray skillet with cooking oil. Place frozen burgers in skillet. Cook cook burgers over medium heat for 12 to 14 minutes, turning burgers over halfway through cook time. In the microwave, which I do not recommend because they kind of come out soggy, place frozen burger on a microwave safe plate, microwave on high for two minutes, turning burger over halfway through cooking time, microwaving more than one burger at one time is not recommended. Cooking instructions developed using 1100 watt microwave. Microwave ovens vary. Times given are approximate. In the oven, preheat oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, place frozen burgers in a single layer on a baking sheet and bake for 20 minutes. Caution, never leave cooking appliance unattended while in use. Children should be supervised. Great on the grill. I think the best way is either on the grill or in the oven. I know it says the skillet, but I prefer in the oven. They come out super crispy. And I think they are delicious that way. Good for you and good for the earth. On average, choosing to eat a veggie meal instead of one with meat can help reduce freshwater use, land use, and your greenhouse gas emissions. A comparative life cycle assessment of plant-based foods and meat foods, 2016 Qantas and Morningstar Farms, available at msf.to slash lci. And then Kellogg's Family Rewards, little sign for that on the side. And this gives you a really great recipe, which sounds delicious. Chipotle black bean burger tacos with caramelized onions. Shows you all the ingredients. Half cup seeded and chopped plum tomato. Half cup finely chopped fresh pineapple. Two teaspoons lime juice. Fourth teaspoon of ground cumin. Two teaspoons vegetable oil. One large sweet onion thinly sliced. Four Morningstar Farms Chipotle black bean burgers. Half a cup, two ounces of Mexican blend shredded cheese. And four eight inch whole grain tortillas. That actually sounds delicious. I'm going to try that. Gives you the directions, and then you can discover more delicious recipe ideas at MorningstarFarms.com. And let's see, where are the nutrition facts? Oh, here we go. Okay, ingredients. Onions, cooked black beans, black beans, water, hydrated wheat gluten, water, wheat gluten, cooked brown rice, water, brown rice, whole kernel corn, corn oil, soy protein concentrate, diced tomato, water, green chilies, egg whites, Bulgur wheat, calcium cassini, con contains 2% or less of cornstarch, onion powder, green bell peppers, spices, red bell peppers, cilantro, tomato juice, salt, yeast extract, tomato powder, dextrose, garlic powder, chipotle pepper, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, corn gluten, wheat gluten, 
soy protein, soy sauce, soybeans, wheat, salt, vinegar, natural and artificial flavors, jalapeno peppers, red pepper, green pepper juice, garlic juice, disodium isony, caramel color, thiamine hydrochloride, lime juice, and lactic acid, contains wheat, soy, egg, and milk ingredients, produced with genetic engineering, which I think they're starting to do away with now, by the way. So nutrition facts, one burger, Total fat, 7 grams, calories, 190, calories from fat, 60, saturated fat, 1 gram, trans fat, 0 grams, polyunsaturated fat, 3.5 grams, monounsaturated fat, 1.5 grams, 0 milligrams cholesterol, sodium, 540 milligrams, potassium, 390 milligrams, total carbs, 22 grams, dietary fiber, 8 grams, sugars, 2 grams, protein, 17 grams. So guys, I hope that you try out... Morningstar Farms, Veggie Burgers, Chipotle, Black Bean, and I hope you found the video useful. And please just stick around for one second because I'm going to show you the finished product that I just made in my oven. And I decided to top with some yummy avocado. So just stick around for one second.